topic, and then we'll come back and I'll introduce you. In that first segment, uh, we're just going to talk about like how you got involved. Welcome to One Shot, One Life, the show where we help you stop worrying and start winning in life. I'm your host, Doug Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for joining us today. We also want to welcome everybody joining us on Facebook Live. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook at 1400 KLIN. And a huge thanks to our Facebook producer and Metaverse master, Johnny Cadillac, for getting us hooked up. And we've got a new look, by the way, if you're on Facebook. Um, you're going to be seeing during our breaks, and I know, Josh, you're going to tell us about this in a second. You're going to see a lot of action happening behind the scenes. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. And of course, obviously, a huge thanks to our executive producer, Josh Floyd. Um, thank you, for Josh, for all your inputs and how we've developed the vision and for One Shot and where we're going to go in the future. Uh, you've been a tremendous help and had a huge impact, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. We've got a lot of good things coming on. Speaking of, let's talk about Facebook Live now. We've got a little bit of a change there, and you're going to explain what is happening. Yeah, so previously, you know, we had the just the We'd come on right at like as we started, and then when we would go to break, we just had like a logo that said, We'll be back shortly. Instead of that, now we're going to just be live the whole time. You won't be able to hear us. We've got to cut Which out. Which is probably good, maybe. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go to an overhead shot, uh, which will reveal my highly turtle waxed cranium. Are we going to have to get a makeup artist now? <laughs> I think I is just, that where we're, I just <laughs> need a little bit of powder <laughs> is all. Just a little powder up top here. But yeah, so the action will will always be going. There will always be, always be something to look at. So you know if you if you see us and we're moving, we're on, we're live, we're, we're here. And we've Listen. changed up the format a little bit because we're going to try to prep because we want to go syndicate sometime here. That's so right. yeah. You're going to notice a little bit of a change in the format from our previous show. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Well, in the studio, we're extremely amped up. For today's show, it's re we're really excited. Uh, we're going to have a fun time today. You know, we've talked about New Year's resolutions over the last several weeks, and every year the top New Year's resolutions revolve around health and fitness, and that's the reality. But the truth is, if you look at it, people really have an issue with their health and fitness because they usually have a New Year's resolution, and they don't keep it, right? So at One Shot, One Life, we really talk about establishing priorities in life. And here's what we found out. As people establish those you know, health and fitness priorities and then they don't achieve them, they end up having detrimental impacts on their lives and the lives around them. So I looked at some st statistics in regarding health and fitness across the country. The latest stats show from 2021 that 71.6% of American adults age 20 and over are overweight and nearly 40% of adults age 20 and over are obese. Now here's the problem. 
Uh, obesity dramatically increases the risk of developing other medical conditions or diseases like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, high blood pressure, stroke, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, we also are finding out that obesity is a factor when it comes to the severity that the coronavirus is having on mm -hmm. people's immune system. Yeah, comorbidities, right? Yes, and we need to talk about this more. We need to be proactive in that area. And unfortunately, when we look at obesity, uh, it can cause premature death. Although it's difficult to know exactly what the numbers are, some studies estimate that 300,000 people die from the effects of obesity every single year in America. You know, health and fitness is one life priority area that we're passionate about helping people with at One Shot, One Life. Why? Because our bodies are the tool, right, um, that we've been blessed with that allows us to live out our personal life purpose and passions um, that we were designed to use um, to love everyone and serve those around us that we come in contact with. And because we're passionate about it, we want to bring on the best. That's all we want here, proven and the best experts uh, possible to give us proven systems so that we can develop, develop the best health and fitness lifestyle possible. So today we've asked health expert, celebrity trainer, and cre creator of P90X, Tony Horton, to join us. Tony's undoubtedly one of the most influential men in the health and fitness industry. He's helped millions of people transform their lives, uh, including my own, which we'll probably talk about here in just a little bit. Uh, he's going to help us kick off 2022 and guide us to the best path to take to take care of ourselves physically through his Power of Four system. I'm excited to um, introduce people to that. Um, now, uh, we're also opening up the Rick Stein Recognition Hotline because we had a lot of response on social media about this show today. So if you want to call in or text in, you can call and give a question to Tony or, or a comment if, if you want to as well. Simply dial 402-479-1400 or text us there, 402-479-1400. Also, Johnny Cadillac is going to be monitoring our Facebook feed as well, and uh, you can type in a message there too. So it's going to be fun. Excited to have Tony on. All right, well, a quick programming update for the next several weeks. We have an amazing lineup throughout January and the first part of February. Next Saturday, we're honored to have former assistant Husker football coach George Darlington in the studio. It's going to be really fun. George helped the uh, Cornhusker football team uh, for 30 years uh, as an assistant coach, including a uh, handful of national championships right under his belt. So it'll be fun to have him in the studio. Uh, he's well known for his football facts here in Nebraska. It's a program that he taught at the university and at the stadium um, that really helped a lot of people understand the basics of football. Um, he's going to be coming in to share what he's been doing the last 10 plus years. He's an amazing man. He serves our community uh, through our pit prison population through a ministry called Good News Jail Prison Ministry here in Lincoln. So he's going to tell us a little bit more about that, which will be fun. Then Saturday, January 29th, we're going to have the band Voda in the studio, which will be great. Brian Olson and John Wooten will be here. Brian Olson is the owner of the band. And if you don't know, Brian was a former member of the Christian group called the Newsboys uh, back in their heyday, and he traveled all across the world. He actually wrote and performed our theme song, One Shot, One Life. We'll talk about that story, how it came about, which is really fun. John uh, Wooten is the owner of Artillery Media here in town, amazing musician. So we're going to talk about the song, Voda, their life, their dreams, and their upcoming tour for 2022 and then saturday february 12th um how about starting your own business josh does that sound good being your own <laughs> entrepreneur <laughs> yeah a lot of people uh, have yeah, that the dream yeah, a lot of people have that as a dream so we're going to have entrepreneurs billy the kid and dan delgado come in the studio and talk about their proven steps for establishing side businesses as multiple streams of income. They've done it. As a matter of fact, Billy is the owner of four thriving businesses. He's also the author of a brand new book called The Power of Being Uncomfortable. He's also a successful DJ and musician. So it'll be fun to have Billy in. And then Dan, he's the owner of three growing businesses here in Lincoln, all while working a full-time job. So if you've got a job, I mean, he's going to have, he's going to be the expert here talking about how can you manage those things together. So they're going to share their inspiring stories and proven tips of how to develop several streams of income by becoming an entrepreneur yourself. All right, we're going to wrap up this first segment. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the ultimate success formula. Uh, you know, we haven't talked about this a lot on the show, but I wanted to share it with people because I've had a lot of people asking, how can we get the book? How can we um, start walking through your proven steps? Well, throughout the year, I work with clients from across the country, and I help them identify their top priorities that they want to achieve. Um, now, priorities are the vital things that in their lives that they really want to achieve that if they don't, it's going to have a detrimental impact on them and those that they love. And the tool that I use with them is my best-selling book, obviously, The One Shot, One Life. We use the book. But in the book, 
I revealed the ultimate success formula. Now, the formula itself is five powerful principles that have helped thousands of people achieve great success in all areas of their life, including money, people, faith, work, health, and their overall hopes and dreams. And the ultimate success formula has helped people across the country at top, uh, achieve their top key priorities that they want to achieve. Now, here are just a few examples of what people have achieved utilizing the ultimate success formula. And guys, I was talking to um, you know our producers this morning about this, and they don't know the number yet. But yesterday, a couple shared with me, because I've been working with them for four years, they shared with me that they've paid off exactly $131,870.99 over the past four years wow. in debt. Wow. That's incredible. Student loans, house, everything. And so it's so fun. it was so fun to talk to them because the weight of the world has been lifted off their shoulders. And it's fun to know that they use the success formula to do that. Another couple uh, texted me recently and said, hey, Doug, we're finally able to refinance our mortgage. We've dropped the PM PMI payment. So it's decreased our overall payment over $500 a month. They're going to be able to put that towards debt. Uh, we have a CEO who's increased his company sales by over 45%, saved thousands of dollars in taxes. A husband repaired a strained relationship with his wife. Um, they've been uh, begin pursuing their own passions together. And what I love about this is, is seeing couples develop and grow closer together, realizing that they're called for a purpose and they're able to support each other in that process. And we have an amazing woman after years of struggling with her health and fitness, finally get a handle on it, lost weight, finally feels comfortable in her own skin. And it's those kind of stories that I absolutely love. And the list goes on and on and on. So, um, you know, if you want a great place to start and you've got things in your life that you know you need to achieve, now's your chance and now's the time to pick up a copy of, of One Shot, One Life. You can find it anywhere. Fine books are sold. Uh, obviously, you can also go to Amazon.com. Uh, I want to thank Marty, by the way. He sent me a picture on Thursday of his copy in hand that he had just received in the mail, and he was excited to get started with it. Awesome. So. Yeah, so it's really fun. So, again, you can check out there uh, everything else we do at One Shot by going to OneShotOneLife.com. So anything else, Josh, before we wrap things up? Why don't we give away a book today to one of the callers? Cool. Let's do that. If you call in, uh, we'll give away a, uh, how about an autographed copy of the book? Even better. All right. We'll give an autographed copy of the book to one of our callers. <laughs> I'm just going to put you on the spot and make you that, give away hey, books. Hey, that's all right. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll give them out. So 409 uh, 402-479-1400, you can call in. All right, we're going to take our first break, and when we come back, we're going to be joined by celebrity fitness trainer and creator of P90X, Tony Orton. This is going to be such a great time and a great show. We'd love for you to join us uh, again by calling in the Rick Stein Recognition Hotline, 402-479-1400. You can also comment on our Facebook Live feed as well. You are listening to One Shot, One Life on Lincoln's number one news and talk station, 1499.3. KLIN. Is presented by Lincoln Coin and Bullion. Buying and selling precious metals such as silver, gold, platinum, and palladium. We buy and sell coins and
This is One Shot, One Life on 1499.3 KLIN. Welcome back to the show. It is 14 past the hour. I'm your host, Doug Fitzgerald. I want to thank our amazing show sponsors because, because we can't do this without them. Plus, they all deeply believe in our show's message. Lincoln Coin and Bullion, my trusted bullion experts for over a decade. John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, proudly serving Lincoln and surrounding areas for 25 years. And Casey Smile, Dr. Headley and his staff completely transformed my smile, and um, they have totally dramatically changed my life. They can change your life as well. You can check out my transformation at OneShotOneLife.com and see what they did. And if you and your business want to partner with us as well and join our great team at One Shot One Life, you can contact me directly at Doug at KLIN.com. That's Doug at KLIN.com. Well, on today's show, we are focusing on our overall health and fitness. I shared in the opening segment how the obesity epidemic is slowly destroying people's lives. So today I asked celebrity trainer Tony Horton to join us. Tony's career and passion has been all about helping people take control of their bodies so that they can live their best life possible. Tony's the creator of Power 90, P90X, 22-Minute Hardcore, so many other programs, and recently, Power Nation Fitness. He's a best-selling author, speaker, and simply an awesome and fun guy. So, Tony, welcome to One Shot, One Life. It is so great to be here, you guys. Uh, real pre- pleasure. Thank you for uh, for having me. Well, we're excited. I hear you are actually taking time from your vacation in Jackson Hole to spend time with us today. We appreciate that. Sounds like you're having fun. Oh, it's been great. It's, it's a uh, glorious nine degrees this morning, so I have no <laughs> problem being here with you. Uh, Doug, and not being out on that hill, you know, with 14 layers of clothes to keep me warm. So. Now, you do this every year, right? Just kind of as getaway? This is my annual trip. I take the month of January off and, uh, and just come out here to Jackson Hole. I still have to work. I still have meetings and, and various things dealing with my life. But, um, you know, I try to take as much time up on the hill just to uh, to enjoy it. You know, I mean, this is the reason why I've worked so hard and trained so hard. I mean, I've been working my legs three days a week for the last four months so I can get out here and ski hard and <laughs> And I, you know, I get to be here with my wife and and some friends and uh, and take advantage of of, uh, of this, you know, this beautiful place. Well, thank you for taking time off to do this from from skiing on the slopes. We appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And I watched your, you know, you've got a great Instagram feed. I, I encourage people to go there and and follow you there. But you were talking about, I think, in your last video about not only being there, but you talked about the reason why. And we'll talk more about this later. But uh, so that you can enjoy your life like this, right? Absolutely. I, I mean, I, at 63 years old, I don't, you know, I have a lot of friends, a lot of peers, a lot of people that I went to high school and college with that, you know, their lives are shutting down and they're just not as active as they used to be. And and it doesn't have to be that way. You know, it just you just need a formula. You need a purpose. You need a plan. You need, you need the right kind of folks in your life. And, uh, and you know, you know, as well as I do, man, because, you know, you know I've met you years ago, um, you know, through Beachbody and, and, and the great transformation that you had. And, and, uh, you know, this is who I am. This is how I live. And nothing ever changes. Uh, you know, I work out five to seven days a week. And I try to, you know, I try to encourage other folks to do the same thing and, and figure out ways of doing it so that it's not overwhelming. So you can actually be consistent. You know, consistency is really much more important than intensity with the stuff. So if you can do that, you know, you can live the same kind of amazing life. Yeah, you're, you're a huge inspiration. You've helped millions of people. Um, changed their lives. Now, for our listeners who may not um, know your background, would you share with us uh, your story of how you ended up becoming a fitness trainer to begin with? Oh, man, Doug, I don't know. Do we have four and a half hours? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to, I'll, I'll try to condense it as best I can. You know, I mean, I was, a, I was a, not, I wasn't very athletic. I had a speech impediment as a kid. And my father was a, was a, a great athlete in football, basketball, and baseball. And I don't know. I just didn't have the right coaches and the right trainers and stuff and mentors. My dad was traveled a lot. So, you know, it was my mom and my two sisters and I, so it didn't start out very well for me. I just, you know, I wasn't terribly athletic. Um, and I didn't know about training. I just thought you went out there and you played the sport and hopefully over time you'd get better at it. But, but there were other things that were involved, obviously that I didn't know about then. And then I, you know, I took a, a weightlifting course in college and I was kind of a scrawny kid. I'm an ectomorph, you know, there's ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph, different body types, just purely based on, on your genetics. So I had skinny parents. I was a skinny kid and I didn't really train or do any. I never ran races or anything, but this weightlifting course really altered things for me. The, the, the teacher was just fun. He was funny and he was fun. And I just so looked forward to going there and work hard. Uh, of course I got an A in that course. I didn't get an A in a lot of them, but, um, and that was sort of the spark for me. And then I came out to California and joined a gym and then I joined another gym and another gym. At the same time, I was a young actor, right? I was auditioning for stuff. I was doing improv comedy with with um, 
Second City, Los Angeles. And, and for two years, I tried the whole stand-up comedy thing. That's really hard, by the way. And um, But boy, it certainly thickened my skin. And so I'm auditioning and I'm training. And I, you know, I eventually, I was training my boss. I was a runner at 20th Century Fox. And, and later after he stopped doing that, and I was just a trainer, I didn't have to do mime at the pier anymore or work in retail stores or be a plumber or a carpenter. I Man, I had every odd job under the sun. I, wow, I'm a trainer now. And so he introduced me, my, my boss at the time introduced me to Tom Petty, Tom Petty. He said, hey, he called me up and my roommate hung up on him because <laughs> Why would Tom Petty be called in my house? You know what I mean? So, I mean, it was just crazy. And so, I, you know, I said, hello. And, hey, it's Tom Petty. I'm going on tour. And I'm and I'm overweight. Nobody likes an overweight rocker. So help me out. So I trained him for four four months straight. He went off on that tour. He was wearing tank tops and cut off his sleeves and his T-shirts. And everybody's like, what the heck happened to Tom Petty, you know? And so then Billy Idol called me, mate. Great. What did you do to Tom Petty, man? Fantastic. Can you come to my house? And then it was Bruce Springsteen and Annie Lennox and Stephen Stills and, and Lindsey Buckingham and, and Stevie Nicks and Bryce Dallas Howard and da 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 da. You know, it just went on and on. So I went from, a, you know, doing mime on the pier to uh, being, you know, keeping rock and roll alive there. That's how it started. Well, you've uh, you've impacted so many people since then. You know, my wife Tammy and I first met you in the fall of 2001 already. Can you believe that? I mean, it's been over oh, 20 uh, years. Oh. Gosh, <laughs> we're getting old, yeah. and we met. And I, and I, I don't know. I don't know how many people are seeing me on, but I look exactly the same. You do, no, you no, do. Really. You look no, better, no. man. Um, well, it's the beard. The beard covers up all the all the flaws. You see. <laughs> well, we met in Kauai, Hawaii. I remember that. I remember the day where we were we were sitting on. There was a nice grass um, platform there overlooking the ocean, and you walked by and you sat down right next to Tammy, and she was kind of starstruck at the time. You would come out with a program called Power 90. We were there to share our transformation stories for the infomercials that were running. Yep. And, um, you know, you changed our lives 20 years ago, and uh, we've never been the same. I mean, our life, our health, and our health fitness has just been dramatically uh, changed, which has impacted our kids as well. And since then, you've created programs like P90X, P90X2, and 3, and 10-Minute Trainer, and 22-Minute car- Hardcore. And, and now you have Power Nation Fitness with the Power of 4, which we'll get into later in the show. Um, you've just had just an incredible career of helping millions of people. What's been the most re- rewarding part of that journey? Stories like yours and Tammy's, you know, sitting down and meeting folks that made those changes. You know, I mean, I'd be, oh, you got nice cars, and nice homes and blah, blah, blah. And that's all great. That just creates more stress. <laughs> Boy, right. Yeah. Faith, faith and fortune just turns out to be, you know, harder. But, you know, every, whatever, whatever brings me down to earth is when I meet the people that go through one of my programs. And their lives have completely changed, not only physically, you know, it's I think a lot of people get into it for maybe sort of the wrong reason. And maybe we'll have some time to talk about purpose. And, um, you know, for me, I got into the fitness industry because I wanted to be more muscular. You know what I mean? I want to meet girls and whatever. There are these really ephemeral, you know, reasons why that weren't really you know, very substantial. But what happens to folks, especially as they get older and they have kids and they're out in the world and they're watching their physique and their energy and their balance and the coordination and their strength sort of dissipate, is that when you meet some folks and you hand them that tool and they turn it around, I mean, it's life altering. It's been that way for me. I, I mean, who I am physically, mentally and emotionally is completely different. And so that I, when I can create something that can transcend those concepts and ideas and methods and techniques, and people just, you know, make that turn because most people, you know, you get into your 30s, 40s and 50s and you just you just kind of assume that it's going to go the way your parents and grandparents went. It doesn't have to, you know. And so, you know, and I've met, you know, gosh, I mean, on this trip alone in Jackson Hole, I'm in a, I'm in a little store here and my wife sees these stretch stretch pants and they're looking at my name because I got 10 percent off because of my ski pass. And she says, oh, tell me what your husband's name is. And she says, uh, Tony Horton. And she says, it's not that P90X Tony Horton. And she said, yes, she gave, she paid for my wife's ski pants. Oh, she wow. wouldn't let, would, I mean, we begged her, no, no, don't pay for the pants. She says, I don't, I was in the military and we were under so much stress and we were all doing P90X. And so my, this gal, <laughs> she goes, it changed my life completely. Mm-hmm. And this was, you know, P90X was what, 2014. And so it goes on and on and on, story after story after story. And it just makes my heart swell. You know, and I think little old me, the kid who had two left feet would, who was the biggest procrastinator in the world who had a speech impediment turned out, turned out. Okay. You know what I mean? And so, and, and by the way, that happened at the mattress store. 
uh, that same day. And it happened when I went to get my watch battery put in because <laughs> she wouldn't let me pay for the battery. And she was going to, she said, you can have any watch in the store. I didn't take the watch. I just felt like that was too much. Um, but it was just, you know what I mean? People are so authentic mm. and so happy because, you know, they know where they were. They know what the struggle was and they know that the struggle is gone. And physically, mentally, and emotionally, they just feel like they're on top of the world. And the, th- and the fact that I was maybe a part of that, come on, man, you can't, you can't beat that. Well, it touches people deep down at the deepest part of their soul. And uh, when you have a connection like that and when you serve people like that, um, they don't forget it. It's, it's you're part of their life from that point on. And you've been part of our lives as well. And I know, you know, you look great um, seeing you on, on Facebook here and the beard looks awesome. But I also know that your life hasn't always been perfect as well. You had a health scare that really knocked you down hard. Um, share with us about that, because, you know, I think a lot of people, when they look at their health and fitness, and, you know, a lot of times when maybe they get sick or they get ill, their life gets busy or they get injured in some way, they kind of, you know, let their health and fitness slide. What happened? And then we'll talk about how that impacted your life as well. Well, you know, back in October 2017, I ended up with Ramsey Hunt syndrome and Ramsey Hunt syndrome is when you get shingles in your ear. And so there's a lot of nerves that are connecting into your brain that affect your sight, your smell, your taste, your balance, all of it. Right. So and at that time, you know, I mean, if, if, if you've ever had chicken pox, which is most people, then the shingles is in there. It's just waiting for you to deal with, you know, life. And, you know, stress is one of these things that that kind of comes upon you. You're not even aware of it. You're just sort of dealing with things, you know, at that moment. You know, I was, you know, I mean, you know, I, I was having some struggles with beach body. The contract negotiations weren't going very well. And that relationship was coming to an end. And I was kind of amazed that, that you know, like, can't we come to a number here that works? And apparently we couldn't, you know what I mean? And so when you're with an organization for 20 years and, and you realize, oh, this is done. All right. Then uh, that was really, really hard on me. Now at that, almost at that same time, there was a Vegas, uh, a Vegas shooting. And I had some friends that were there and, the horror stories i just i just couldn't believe that i just that that was so traumatic for me and then the following day tom petty passes away Mm. so i had the negotiation issues i had that shooting in vegas and tom petty and i lost it man i just thought this the world is coming to an end you know thank god the pandemic was happening at the same time oh my gosh who knows what kind of shape i would have been in and it was really really hard for me doug and then all of a sudden i was in the middle of a dinner party with sean and and i said man i got a massive headache and and uh, it just wouldn't walk, go away. And the next day, I couldn't walk in a straight line. I thought, what is going mm. on? I mean, because the shingles were starting to form and starting to damage those nerves that had to do with balance. And what happened was I was, you know, desperately Ill, Ill for three months, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't eat, couldn't drive, couldn't exercise, couldn't do anything. And I was, you know, in and out of doctor's office to just to get me dressed and to get me out the door and in the car to one of these doctors was like climbing Mount Everest. And it was relentless. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people who have, you know, uh, had some issues with the pandemic and stuff and gotten really ill and and the, you know, these long haulers and stuff, it's, it can't be easy, but I, you know, I've never felt so horrible for so long and felt so desperate. I ended up with Bell's palsy for a month. So the whole right side of my face just looked like a, like I was in a fire, you know, it was pretty horrible. But then again, I had the background on what to do and all the King's horses and all the King's men and the doctors and the tinctures and the medicines and the meds. I mean, they helped a little bit, but you know what I'd say? I got to get in that gym, so I would try to lift a couple weights, and then I would have to lay down for three hours. Or I get the treadmill for five minutes, and I have to lay down for five hours. You know, whatever it took, I just was so determined to come back. You know, I look at first, I look at some folks right now that are, you know, here it is, 2022, and it's like, oh, man, it's halfway through January. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stick to my my New Year's resolution, and so that's why I came up with the Power Four. We'll get into that a little bit more, but. But, you know, it's health and wellness and mindfulness and nutrition and supp- the mo- supplements, my, my supplement line. I had I had to create a new supplement line because there was nothing out there mm. that was able to help me put that weight back on. And maybe we'll get into that, too. But it was not easy, man. And so mindfulness and meditation and being quiet and being present. And if it's, you know, it comes down to walking my dogs or, 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 or listening to music, uh, you know, you don't have to sit in Lotus for 45 minutes, you know, with the candles and the, and the shades down to, to meditate, you know. The deep breathing is, is is really important. You know, like one book, uh, David Nestor's book, Breath, was, you know, instrumental in my healing. And mm. uh, John Kabat-Zinn's book, Catastrophic Living, was was another. You know, you just – and you're, you're, you're a seeker, right? I'm a seeker. Like this, there's a situation. I don't like the way it's working, so I don't just sit on it and worry about it. What I do is I look for sources outside of myself that have answers. And, I, you know, not everything resonates with me, but what does, man, I get after it. And, and quite often it works. How did that impact then that experience? How did that impact 
the way, you know, your life from that point on and how you approach health and fitness? I don't sweat the small stuff. I try not to, you know, and, um, and I try to surround myself with, with, with happy people with, 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 you know, honest people, authentic people. Um, you know what I mean? And I, and I just, you know, I'm more solution oriented. I was, I was always, I mean, you know, how do you come up with power 90 P 90 X, X, two X, three, I'll try to win hardcore without being solution oriented. But, but, uh, but I'm more so than ever, you know what I mean? I, I, and, and really the key for me is, and it's the reason why it, it exists in the power of four is that mindfulness is the most critical piece to that puzzle. You know, it, it, you know, just finding, I have 10 mindfulness practices and I try to do them often. And when I, when I do a public speaking event or something, or I'm online or on zoom, I just say, what are your 10? You know, is it, is it, is napping one of them that counts is walking your dog. One of them that counts. If, you know, if meditation is one of them, well then of course that counts yoga, by the way, physical, that's a physical meditation that also counts anything that you're doing that takes your mind off all the stress and strain of life that makes you feel good in the moment and makes you feel even better afterward. That's a mindfulness practice. But for most people, the only mindfulness practice they have is, you know, sleeping poorly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like they go to bed late. Their, their mind is, is racing because they don't know how to take a series of deep breaths to help kind of calm down their mind. And it's just, mm. it's, it's so, I do it in the car. You know what I mean? I do it in the bathroom. I do it in the shower. I do it anywhere I can. It's not like you have to sort of set a time to do it. I mean, setting a sign to, time to do it as well. And for a lot of folks, it's prayer. For my wife, it's, it's prayer. Prayer mm. is her mindfulness, her number one mindfulness practice. You know, mine's a little bit different. Mine is, you know, um, more secular in nature where I just, you know, I just learned from a lot of the gurus on, on what it takes to take, you know, four by four breathing, five, five point five breathing, um, you know, uh, body scan meditation. These are the ways I do it. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for just letting us into your life a little bit and being transparent. We appreciate that. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we've been talking with celebrity trainer and creator of P90X, Tony Horton. If you want to check out Tony's amazing community and all he's currently doing, you can go to PowerNationFitness.org. I highly recommend that you check it out. Well, when we return, we're going to take your calls. Plus, later in the show, Tony will be sharing with us a special offer for our One Shot, One Life listeners. You're not going to want to miss it. You are listening to One Shot, One Life on 1499.3 KLIN. One Shot, One Life is presented by Lincoln Coin & Bullion, where we treat each customer with respect and dignity. A customer who purchases $50,000 of gold is not treated differently than a customer selling a gold filling. Every customer uniquely contributes to our business success. You're listening to 1499.3 KLIN. Winning. This is One Shot, One Life on 1499.3 KLIN. Welcome back to One Shot, One Life. I'm your host, Doug Fitzgerald. Thank you again for joining us on the show today. We've got a great show with Tony Horton. First, we want to thank our title sponsor and partner, Lincoln Coin & Bullion, Pat, Courtney, Katie, and the crew 
are a critical part of my financial team and they are super awesome to work with. They've been my trusted precious metals dealer for over a decade. Now, uh, if you're a current precious metals uh, owner or you're wanting to make your very first purchase, they will treat you with the same attention and the same respect, and that's why I love them. Personally, I'd rather deal with someone face-to-face -face than deal with somebody that I don't know. Uh, wouldn't you as well? Well, as a matter of fact, um, they've been a part of a uh, critical part and a vital part of my financial investment team. Like I said, I've been uh, purchasing from them for over 10 years. I know them personally, and I know they would love to work with you as well. To get more information, you can go to LincolnCoinAndBullion.com. That's LincolnCoinAndBullion.com. And remember, um, they work by appointment only so that they can give you their full attention. And if you want to set up an appointment, you can call them at 402-327-2853. That's 402 327 2853. And if you contact them or you go in and see them, please tell them that you heard about it on One Shot, One Life. Well, our guest today is celebrity trainer and creator of P90X, Tony Horton. In the first segment, we heard about Tony's amazing life story and how he's used his passion for fitness to impact millions of people's lives. If you missed the first part of the show, I highly recommend that you go to KLAN.com and listen to our podcast. Plus, you can now listen to us wherever you listen to your podcast on any platform. Just choose your favorite service and then search One Shot, all one word, One Life, all one word. And while you're there, you can check out all of our past episodes as well. Again, we've uh, opened up the phone lines now, the Rick Stein Recognition Hotline. If you've got a comment or question for Tony, that number is 402-479-1400. And look at this. We've got the phones ringing in. So I want to thank Josh, my producer, for taking care of all that behind the scenes. Tony, before we jump into the callers, I know Josh had a question um, earlier today that he was asking me. He's like, hey, do you think I can ask Tony this? I'm like, heck yeah. So, Josh, what do you have? Yeah, well, I... You know, I mean, Tony, obviously, you're all basically a household name. You've helped millions and millions of people get fit and get happy and healthy. You've worked one-on-one -on -one with A-list celebrities. You've, you've beaten, you know, crippling disease. Um, you're, you're an inspiration. And you, you kind of touched on this a little bit earlier anyway. Um, but I'd like to, to, to ask a little bit more in depth about well, first of all, do you ever get sad? Not, not necessarily when you were talking about after, um, you, you know, you lost your friend and, you know, you were dealing with the very painful disease you had. But like, you know, Tony Horton, he's a very happy guy. If you've watched any of your videos, I mean, you've, you're super charismatic, but do you ever just get sad and get depressed? And I'm assuming I know the answer, so I'd out, like to ask also, like, what do you kind of do to pull yourself up by the bootstraps? Josh, that is, first of all, an awesome question. Because I don't <laughs> think in all the, I've done hundreds of interviews and no one has ever asked me that before. Um, so I really appreciate that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a human being and, and life is not difficult. Uh, this pandemic has not made it, made it easy. I mean, I know people who have passed away. I know people who have gotten desperately ill and, you know, are still, still struggling. And so when you see that kind of pain and anguish in the world, then you just see what's happening in the world in general. You know, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a news watcher, right? So uh, it's just, oh, I get so frustrated when I see that, you know, there are still really horrible, mean, terrible people in the world that just aren't considering other people, you know, yeah. I mean, other differences and whatnot. And it makes me super depressed and, and really sad. You know, there's not much I can do unless, you know, I open up my checkbook or something. I mean, I've, we've got a dear friend, uh, this guy, Scott Pfeiffer, who started this company called Go Campaign. And, you know, he was a screenwriter and an attorney and he was doing just fine. He went off to Africa to Tanzania and he saw these kids at this orphanage and he just said, well, this is not being run very well. And, I'll see what I can do. So he came back to the States and said, that's it. I'm not going to screenwrite. I'm not going to be an attorney anymore. I'm going to do this. And he's, he's helped about 150,000 orphans around the world from, from Tanzania to Tennessee. Right. Wow. So, you know, there's a guy who just, you know, he was so sad and depressed because of what, what he witnessed and, and he's, you know, he's made a huge change. And I've, you know, I've worked with him and helped raise money for his kids. So things like that are a, a way of getting out of it. Um, and, you know, here's the thing. And a lot of people don't realize this. And I talk about it a lot, a lot of interviews, but, when I'm, I'm, whenever I'm really down, it's either meditation of some kind or playing music or Sean and I will go into my gym and dance around. You know what I mean? Just sort of changing the, di the, the, you know, Tony Robbins talks about, you know, paradigm shift. Just like, boom, just this is not how I want to feel. What do I need to do? It's time to go for a walk. It's time to exercise. It's time to meditate. It's time to dance or, or whatever it is or play some, you know, play some Zeppelin. I mean, that always works for me. <laughs> um, but sometimes, you know, there's real there's real more serious sadness and and that's going to require um you know time you know time i mean if somebody like when my mother passed away and my father passed away 
<clears throat> it was brutal. You know, I mean, it's just especially my father died like that. My mother was <clears throat> had a long term illness with cancer, but neither one of them made it easy. But but yeah. But, you know, the one thing is I can say is that, you, you know, the, the four things that I do is the supplementation, the exercise, the, the mindfulness and and uh, the whole shebang. Uh, that mitigates things to some degree, and it also accelerates the healing process a little bit, you know, because it's all about brain chemistry, norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, brain-derived neurotropic factor, all inside the hippo, uh, hippocampus. Inside the hippocampus is the is this thing called the dentate gyrus. It's this little tiny thing, and, and when you crack open the brain of somebody who's never exercised or has a horrible diet, that thing is black. It's dead. And that, it, that explains, that's why people end up with, you know, terminal curmudgeon disorder, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I sometimes suffer from uh, early onset curmudgeon disorder. So I'm, you know, that's why I do what I do, man. It's try to keep the smile on my face more often than not. And so, so far what I'm doing and how that, you know, my, all these different practices in my life, you know, keep the sadness and depression at bay, but they're still there. So, you know, that's, that's life. Uh, that's a great question. Thanks, Amazing. Josh, for asking. Yeah, we're going to dig into your power of four in the next segment. Uh, you can check that out as well at PowerNationFitness.org. Uh, we've got the phone lines lighting up. We're going to try to get to uh, several of them here quickly. Uh, I think first caller, Tony, you may know who this is. Her name is Tracy, it sounds like. Tracy, are you on the mm-hmm. line? I I am on the line. Can you hear me? We can. What do you have for Tony? Well, uh, well, this is Tracy. So you go ahead and share with Tony what you'd like to share. Tracy who? Hey, I don't know who this Tracy is. Tracy who? <laughs> It has been so long since I have heard your voice, and it is so wonderful to be here with you guys. This is Tracy Morrow. How are you, my friend? Oh, my gosh. You know, it's so interesting. I, I never thought this morning that I'd be talking to Doug Fitzgerald and Tracy Morrow all on the same live <laughs> call so that we could hear our conversation. I mean, first first of all, if Tracy, Tracy Morrow and Doug Fitzgerald are two of the most upstanding, incredible <laughs> Unbelievable, thoughtful, civil, loving, yeah. God-fearing, amazing mm. human beings I have ever met. In the, I mean, honestly, you two guys, I met you both in Hawaii, and we became fast friends because, you know, part of our, we just, we had a love for life, and we would laugh so hard, you know. So my favorite thing, and, and Tracy was one of these people that, Tracy Morrow is the reason why I do live events. Mm. So Tracy Morrow is the reason why I'm able to speak fairly well in front of large groups of people because she said people in Omaha want to meet you people in Chicago want to meet you people in Miami and New York and LA and wherever and we would go on these little little jaunts right and she ran the whole show and and god we had so much fun those were and that was the start of it you know it was really it's great to to hear your voice and why did you leave me from California you went to Colorado which is pretty (laughs) good I know I'm looking out over my backyard overlooks the forest and there's snow fell yesterday I know Fitz you have it Doug you have it too I call it Doug Fitz so if I slip and say that here I that's that's what my my pet name for him but I'm looking out Fitz and I had snow yesterday and he and Lincoln and and us in Colorado Springs and oh it's just so beautiful I've I've lived my whole life without snow and we're loving it but you know I just I came on here when Doug said that he was going to have you on, Tony, I just had to, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to say yes to this because it's, a, it's an opportunity for me to just say what you have meant to my life. You know, I, you know, Tony, in, in March, it will be 19 years since I, since you and I have come together and become friends. And since I did your very first program, almost 20 years of friendship and my life is truly I mean, I know that everyone listening in on this has had some sort of interaction. If you've had an interaction with Tony Horton, then you are amening me behind as you're listening, whether you're driving in your car or sitting and listening to the podcast as you're driving somewhere or sitting in your home. But when you, to know Tony is to love Tony, whether you've met him personally or you've just had him on a screen or listening to him on a radio or podcast. But he is the real deal, and he is America's trainer for a reason, because he brought home fitness to be something that was cool, that was something that anybody could do, and both men and women, and it was something that um, forever truly changed my life. So, and I know that Fitz could say the same thing, but when we, when I first, when Casey, my husband, and I uh, met using air quotes here, Tony, it was through an infomercial on the TV, we bought his program and we did it um, to the letter. And we had four young kids at the time. We have six kids now. We're now grandparents. 
And it really, what it did is we had a great life. We had a happy life, but we wanted more for our life. And that included taking our care of our body in a different way. And as soon as this guy came on the screen, I don't know if any of you have ever had this happen before. It has only happened to me one time, never since, never before. But as I was doing it, I felt in my mind like God was saying to me, pray for this man. You are going to be his friend. And so I was like, okay, this is embarrassing. I'm never going to tell anybody. And here I am on a radio station telling it. <laughs> but here I, I started praying for this man. And as I, as I would work out with him, I felt such a sisterly love for him. Like the world should know this man. He has a gift that is very unique and set, set apart. And then when we got to meet him in Hawaii, it was like, I remember thinking like, as Tony and I struck up a friendship, like, you are made for the world. The world needs to know you. And that's when we started hosting these camps. And people would, I was just talking to my daughter, Holly, who when I first started um, one of your very first programs, I think she was seven. And she's now, tw yeah, 27. She was eight, almost eight. She's now 27. She's a mom. And she, I was telling her, you know, T Tony and I used to do these camps and people would come and on the first night we would do something called Circle of Love. Remember these, Tony? And, yep. and we were supposed to give each person two to three minutes and they would always go longer. And I ran the stopwatch and I just didn't have the heart. I, I eventually learned to do it, but I, we'd let them go long because they would pour out their heart of how your programs and how you personally had changed their lives. And they would cry, and it would bond everybody together at the top of the weekend, and so we became family that first night. And person after person after person, you know, exercise, you put moves together, and if you do them faithfully, they're going to change your body. If you eat healthy, you know, you have to learn how to do it, and if you do it consistently, it's going to change your body, and it's going to change the way you do look and view food. But you, what you bring is so unique and special and makes people feel seen, valued, and known in such a way that these people, sorry, I'm still so hoarse. We fought COVID over Christmas, so I can hear my voice is going. But what these people over and over said, in no matter what state we were in and now in the world, when I talk to people, that they just felt seen, valued, and known by you. And it, and it gave them the courage to do something they'd never done before, and their lives were forever changed. And that makes you so unique and special, and I just have such a love and fondness for you. And I'm, it's just my honor to – I'm so thankful, Fitz, that you invited me on to get to just say a little bit about that, about you. Sorry, my voice is going. <laughs> well, Tony – or uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy, the check's in the mail, just real quick. I'll let, uh, how much was it this time? No, it was <laughs> Zero. I would do it for free over and over again. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, that is awesome. I completely agree 100,000% with what you just said, and uh, we appreciate you coming on the line. I can't wait to have you back. You have your own book uh, talking about marriages and relationships, that so we'll have you back on the show as a guest down the road. So thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. That's right. Thanks. Okay, love, love you, Love you, Tracy Morrow. You bet. Say hi to the gang. Will do. Say hi to Shauna. Bye, everybody. Tony, you have the lines lit up. We've got people on Facebook saying, hey, uh, Kristen says, I miss Tony. So cool. He's on the show. Tell him hello from all of us here in Nebraska. Marty message on Facebook. The guys changed my life. Uh, Perry gave you a shout out on Instagram. Saran says, I'm a fan of Tony. Diane says, you are the greatest of all time in fitness. And Dennis just Facebook messaged and said, Tony got me hooked on P90X. I thank God for that. So, Tony, and we've got people on the lines. We're going to try to maybe get to them towards the end of the show, but I want to make sure that uh, we get to your power of four and talk about Power Nation Fitness in just a minute. So, uh, Tony, you got a lot of people that uh, just love you and you've impacted their lives. It's got to be uh, just an awesome feeling. Mm. It's amazing. I mean, it goes back to what I was saying initially, you know, what, what really, what's the thing that really, you know, that makes my life full? And it's that, it's this comment, it's that what Tracy just said. Like, here's this total stranger that was watching some infomercial, right? And I go to Hawaii for a job. Right. Oh, I have to go shoot a commercial in And then you, I meet you and then I meet Tam, your wife, Tammy, and I meet <laughs> Tracy and her husband. And then there's, you know, it just goes on and on and on. You know, I mean, you know, when I lived on the East Coast, I, I thought I'd become a salesman like my dad. You know, you're, yes, you're a salesman. You can sell anything. You know what I mean? And uh, ends up that I ended up being that anyway. You know, I just have to sell, a, you know, a, an alter, uh, alternative lifestyle, which is which is allows people to thrive. You know, most people are just in the survival mode, right? And so when you add fitness, nutrition, supplementation, and mindfulness, you add those four things to your life, you know, everything changes, right? Your priorities change. 
Uh, I know you talked at the top of the show about pri- priorities. Priorities are everything, you know, and, and you have to. So if you could make that mental shift, like I don't, you know, alcohol and being lazy and you know doing everything halfway, I got to make some changes. Where do I go? What's the source? And I, you know, I'm one of many, many, many sources. But you know, people see that hey, this 63 year old can crank. You know what I mean? So maybe, maybe he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> well, we've been having a great uh, conversation and time with Tony Horton. Uh, in our final segment, Tony's going to be sharing with us about his Power of Four system on uh, PowerNationFitness.org. You can go check that out. And he's also got a special offer as well. You're listening to One Shot, One Life on Lincoln's number one news and talk station, 1499.3 KLIN. One Shot, One Life is presented by Lincoln Coin and Bullion, where we respect our clients' privacy. We discourage walk-ins to minimize customer overlap. Helping you tap into the power of the ultimate success formula to win at anything in life. This is One Shot, One Life on 1499.3 KLIN. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on One Shot, One Life, where we help you stop worrying and start winning. It is 51 past the hour. Boy, time flies by fast. I'm your host, Doug Fitzgerald. Coming up on One Shot over the next few weeks, uh, next Saturday we have George Darlington, former assistant Husker football coach. You're going to want to tune in for that. On Saturday, January 29th, the band Voda. We're going to talk about their tour coming up in 2022 and in their connection to One Shot, One Life. And then on February 12th, entrepreneurs Billy the Kid and Dan Delgado will come in talking about how to start your own business and create multiple streams of income. Well, Tony, I want to jump back in. We've got just about, what, about five or six minutes here. I really want to get to your power of four. Let's dig into that real quick here and talk about uh, what you teach in the power of four and why it's so important for people. Well, you know, when uh, when I kind of left Beachbody, it was sort of time to come up with something else. I mean, I work for Tonal. I have my own supplement line called uh, Power Life. If you're curious about the supplements, you can go to mypowerlife.com and check them out. They were part of my healing process when I was sick a few years back. But, you know, I mean, everybody's saying, you know, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Well, I wasn't with Beachbody anymore. So, you know, the pandemic just sort of struck at that moment. And, you know, my wife and I looked at each other and said, let's let's create something. You know what I mean? Whatever we can do, something raw, something down and dirty, something you can shoot in your own gym. And so I put together a program for a, a beta group, you know, and we used to call them test groups back in L.A. when we had like 30 people in a room. And this way we had people from around the world. We had people in Ireland and England and in Japan and Mexico and all across the United States and Canada. And I just put them through the paces. I put them through a three month process. Um, and, uh, you know, we had masks on and we had the sound was bad and the lighting was bad. But you know, we had about twenty five hundred people just kind of sign on. And so we had beta one, which was three months. Then we had a, <clears throat> an interim month where I was developing new new workouts and then we had a beta two and then i was that was another three more months and so that went on and on and on we had beta one two and three and over the course of 15 months we we created 
42 routines. You know, if you look at P90X, it's 12. And people were just in love with it because we were, I was always on there. I was always live. I was doing live workouts on Mondays and Wednesdays. And we looked at each other and said, you know, let's let's actually, you know, because these folks were paying $29 a month for these workouts. And, <clears throat> and it was an amazing journey. And this community, this community was pure love. Uh, I got to tell you, Doug, it was pure love. You get on Facebook and there's a lot of, you know, Insta Instagram and Facebook can be tricky sometimes. But, you know, and the, and the trolls came and went because their energy was, didn't fit with what was happening. And uh and we finally looked, my wife and I looked at each other and said, hey, the first of the year is coming around the corner. Let's shoot these workouts. Let's create this program. Let's make a nutritional guide. And so, I mean, I had that, I had that base foundation strategy, you know, from working for Beachbody. But we were, you know, we were the mom and pop shop trying to get this thing done. And it's been an amazing journey. We launched on January 1st. And, um, and we, have, we have all kinds of amazing trainers. We have Jesse Graff, who was like, you know, stunt woman and a, and a, and a you know a ninja warrior athlete and we have ted mcdonald who's amazing he's an athletic uh, yoga instructor and chelsea mckinney and and eric stolhansky and two-time olympian tasha danvers so we built this team and and this is our project this is our thing we don't have to wait for anybody else to tell us what to do we have to wait in line for other trainers to do their thing i mean you know that was a great run with beach body and if it wasn't for that organization and company and they're still making amazing content you know but it was really time the 20 years were up it's time to kind of do our thing and so we're really we're really proud of this and we and and people are signing up you know 150 200 a day which is which is great and where can they sign up at uh they can go to powernationfitness.org now if you get on the site and you get a little confused like i don't know what to do and uh, you know uh you just you just go to support at tonyhortonlife.com uh both of those will get it done and then you know join the party because it's still early january so uh so that's how you do it well, I love what I love is is watching you and Shauna work together, and she's been great in helping us set up the interview. She also um, set up a um, special offer for our listeners. Um, can you share more about that? Well, you know, you and I are we, we go way back. You know what I mean? And so when I found out I was going to be on your show, uh, Shauna's like, "Well, come on, you gotta, you know, these are people love Doug, people love you. Let's let's give them a break. Let's let's save them some money." So I think it's 50% off for the first month, which yeah. is, you know, <laughs> which is really crazy. Um, and then, you know, people will experience what these 2,500 people experience for 15 months. And typically the success rate on, on, you know, any kind of program is like 12%. And we had close to a 48% success rate purely based on what the content of what this was. It was just, it was people are being bombarded with, with, you know, now we ended up shooting a total of 25 workouts out of the 42. So, 25 is more than twice what most people get from, you know, my past programs, which is really cool. So 50% off. I'm not sure if the code, I think you have the code there, Doug. So fire yes. away with that. Right. The code is OSOL, one shot, one life, OSOL50. OSOL50, all you have to do is go to powernationfitness.org, punch in the code. You can check it out. I love the workouts too, Tony, because they're in your home gym, which is really I cool know. with your friends. I know, I know. There's there's faces that we've seen before, you know what I mean? There's Alice, who's you know, done my other programs, and there's a lot of cast, you know, cast members. I don't want to call them cast members. They're my friends. And there's some really new, great cast members as well. So, you know, there's the silliness is way up there, so they'll enjoy that too. Well, Tony Horton, thank you so much for joining us. This was fun. We could have spent hours together. I, maybe, I know, man. Maybe one day we will. Do. Next time we'll do a five-hour show. That sounds good to me. We will do that. Again, thank you so much for being here, taking time out of your schedule. We deeply appreciate it. I love you, bro. Thank you for having me on. All right. Love you, too. You can check him out at PowerNationFitness.org with the code OSOL50. Well, if you'd like to listen to this podcast of the show or previous shows, you can find them at KLAN.com and on all podcast platforms. Simply search One Shot, All One Word, One Life, All One Word. And you can watch the video playback on Facebook at 1400 KLAN and at OneShotOneLife.com. Well, I want to thank today's guest, celebrity trainer Tony Horton, and my producers, Josh and Johnny. Until next time, take full advantage of your amazing one life and make every single day count. We'll see you next Saturday. Thank you for listening to the One Shot, One Life show. Visit OneShotOneLife.com to get a free download of our theme song. While you're there, learn how to connect with Doug on Facebook.